Hey Sunny Gang, I'm your trainer Colin here and today we are going to go over the new Sunny Health and Fitness stretching exercise machine. All right, there are two types of stretching machines. The first type is for your legs. The second type, which is this kind, is the full body stretching machine. Okay, what a full body stretching machine helps you do is it helps you gently extend your muscles into a more functional and practical state. It also targets every muscle in your body, including your core. Not only does it target every muscle in your body, but it will also help improve the range of motion and will also help you with your joint mobility. Do some of you guys feel like you're getting a little bit more stiff than you used to be? As we get older, your mobility decreases. So this machine right here will help delay that process, all right? Not only will it do that, but it will also help prevent and heal any kind of back pain. It will help improve your alignment and posture. So this machine comes with all sorts of benefits. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop on and we're gonna go over some of my favorite stretching exercises that you can do with our new stretching exercise machine. Let's hop on and get loose. Okay, so when we do any kind of static stretching, we wanna either hold our stretch for 30 seconds or what I personally do is for three deep breaths. Okay, you'll feel your muscles loosen up with each exhale, all right? So whichever one you feel comfortable with or whichever one you feel you'll, that will be the most beneficial for you. So we're gonna first do a lower back stretch. So when we get on, you're gonna make sure your butt's on the seat, okay, your feet are on the pedals and your knees resting on the knee mat, okay? For our lower back stretch, we are gonna grab the top handlebars with our palm down and we are just gonna sink our butt and hips nice and low, nice as far back as you can. Okay, from here, if you'd like, you'll feel it in your lats and in your lower back, but if you wanna feel it more in a certain lat that you have, you can lean to the left side and you'll feel it a little bit more on your left side. And then you can lean to the right side and you'll feel a little bit more on that right side body stretch. Okay, next we're gonna be doing our hamstring stretch. So for our hamstring stretch, you're gonna to wanna to put your right foot on the ankle rest. Okay, and when you do that, make sure you are grabbing the opposite side of the handlebar. So if you put your right leg up and through the little ankle rest, you're gonna be grabbing on to the left side of the handlebar. Okay, and from here, you're just gonna slowly again, drop your hips nice and far back, and you'll start feeling that stretch through your hamstring. Then if you want, pull those toes back and you can feel it a little bit more through your calf and then through your hamstring. All right, so for our next, for our third stretch, we're gonna be doing a glute IT band stretch. Okay, so for this stretch, we're gonna keep one knee on the knee rest. You're gonna bring your other leg out. So if my left knee is on the knee rest, we're gonna bring our right ankle to on top of your knee. And again, we're gonna grab the left side of the handlebar, so the opposite side of the handlebar from what your leg you're stretching. Okay, and we're just gonna drop our hips back. And you'll feel a nice stretch all the way through your IT band and into your glutes. Our fourth stretch is gonna be a shoulder stretch. So for our shoulder stretch, we're gonna wanna grab on to the top of the handlebar, okay? But we wanna cross our arms, okay? So if I'm stretching the right arm out, we're gonna grab the top with our right arm, making sure your palm is facing down, and your left arm will go underneath with your palm up, okay? and then you're just gonna lean your, your hips back and you'll feel a nice stretch in your right shoulder. Okay, and just kind of drop your head, let your chest hang nice and low and breathe. And then we can switch it up by just putting your left hand on the handlebar right underneath with your palm up, then pushing these hips back. So for our next one, we're gonna have two stretches off the machine, okay? 
This is gonna be our calf stretch. On the example sheet in the instruction manual on the machine, stretching machine itself, it's gonna have a picture of someone standing straight up, but I think it's a little bit better and you'll get more of a stretch if you grab onto these handlebars and do it. So what we're gonna do is put the ball of our feet on the back little stand. Okay, and we're gonna grab onto either the lower bar or the top bar, whichever one's more comfortable for you. And you can lift one leg up just a little bit and push that heel to the ground. And you'll feel it all the way through your calf. Okay, and then we'll switch. So you're just gonna pedal out your heels, just back and forth. All right, so just press down, press down. And you can also push down a little bit with your weight on the handlebars and you'll feel a little bit more of a stretch. All right, for our last stretch, we're gonna be doing a quad stretch. Okay, so there's two ways you can do this quad stretch. The first way is by putting the top of your foot in on the ankle rest, okay, and making sure that you're standing back with your hips and with your other foot on the ground. Okay, then if you wanna feel more of a stretch and if you can reach your leg up, to the handlebars, then I would advise you to put the top of your foot on the handlebar and use that. But make sure if you're doing that, grab onto the handlebars on the side for support, okay? If you have a lot of balance, you can do it without it, but I would not advise that. So grab onto the handlebars and you can also use the handlebars to kind of give yourself some leverage to really feel that stretch in your quad. And that is our quad stretch.